Oh yeah, it's time for my favorite show, My Little Pony. Friendship is social advancement leading to the economic, social, and political advancement of a country into modern day country stuff. That's a, that's quite a mouthful. Hey everyone, Mayhem Prone here from the Mayhem Prone Show, and today I will be explaining how friendship is the key to social development in the world of MLP. Quick note, just remember that whenever I refer to Equestria, I am actually referring to both Equestria and the Crystal Kingdom. Now, in simpler terms, what I mean is, friendship is the reason why Equestria is by far the most advanced kingdom in the entire world that we've been sown so far. Now, the biggest argument I can see people having against my theory is that magic is the key to social development in the world of MLP. Like, for example, Equestria has alicorns, the most powerful creatures in the world that we know of, and tons and tons of unicorns and other magical beings. So, obviously, it's magic, but I'm here to say, no, it is not. There have been several examples of kingdoms in the world of MLP that have a decent amount of magic, but few, if any of them, have reached the same level of advancement that Equestria has. My main example comes from the episode that inspired this episode, the most recent episode of MLP to be released, Gauntlet of Fire. In this, we see that the Dragonlands, where the dragons live, do have access to magical artifacts, in this case, the Gauntlet of Fire. And this makes sense, because dragons plunder all the time, so it makes sense that they got a large amount of powerful magical relics but they are one of the least advanced tribes in all of MLP history. They live in nomadic groups and still depend on the strongest instead of the smartest to rule them. So it shows that even if they have strong magic, they have not reached the same levels of advancement that Equestria has. So if magic isn't the answer, what is the thing that causes Equestria to be so much more advanced than all of its neighboring nations? Friendship. This makes a lot of sense when you think about it. When the ponies go to another kingdom, they usually leave the country in a better state than when they arrived, through the introduction of friendship. A good example of this is Griffinstone. Griffinstone was in ruins because of the greed of its citizens. When the ponies got there, they planted the first seed of hope in the form of teaching Gilda to be kind and friendly and making friends, and this is the first step to Griffinstone becoming a great kingdom again. The greatest example of this is yet again Dragonland from the Gauntlet of Fire. This this society in the past has always depended on the strongest to be their ruler, wielding the gauntlet of fire. But with the institution of friendship, Ember was able to take power. Ember seems to be much more educated than the other dragons in the area, so as a result of friendship, the society has advanced from depending on just the strongest to the smartest. So therefore, friendship has advanced their society and put them on the track to a brighter future. And once again, all of this makes total sense. Friendship allows the cooperation, which allows infrastructure to be built. Like the brotherly friendship between Flim and Flam allowed the super speedy cider squeezy 6000 to be built. A great example of this is the main six, because they themselves do not possess powerful magic. The magic that they wield to defeat evil in Equestria all comes from the very basis building blocks of their friendship. So at this point, it's quite obvious that the reason that Equestria towers high over other kingdoms in the area is not because of its vast resources of magic, but because of its vast resources of friendship. But what is your opinion on this theory? Do you agree with it? Do you disagree with it? Do you have evidence for either side? Leave a comment in the section below to let me know. Once again, the must-watch pony video of the week goes to Magpie Pony. Last week, it went to her video, Pinkalovania, for being amazing. And this week, Magpie Pony has released another great video, the next episode of Pinky Tales. This time, it's on Saladin. It's really good, and I highly suggest you check it out. Well, until next time, I'm Mayhem Prone from the Mayhem Prone Show. Like, comment, and subscribe, and goodbye. Hmm, I've been I've been thinking for a while. That's very weird about the Flim Flam Super Speedy Cider Squeezy Six Thousand being all industrial in the middle of a rural society. Wait, maybe Equestria is in the middle of an industrial revolution. Oh my God!